usually never appear in front of the camera. First of all, I'm not very good at being in front of the camera. And secondly, I've got three wonderful actors that naturally do all the work. My only role is to relay what they have to the outside world. The channel, in the last very short period of time, has finally found the niche. You'd be quite shocked to find out that I've been YouTube's partner since 2008. A very loyal YouTube partner. Don't have any strengths. Never did. Below in the description, there is more detail about the history of the channel and so on. Don't really want to take too much of your time. Let's just move on straight to the main topic as per why I am in front of the camera right now and not my cats. Just like many of you, small channel creators, I found a message in my inbox where it said that as of 20th of February, I will no longer be considered YouTube's partner for the reason of not meeting the criteria. You have the whole, every right to ask the simple question, how come after 10 years you cannot meet what seems to be quite a small criteria for many of the, of the YouTubers out there? Watch the video to find out. I uh, put together some stats, some uh, graphs, a um, lot of information out there. But the whole idea of me talking to you right now is that pretty much like many of you, I went through the whole range of emotions when I opened that email. From frustration to anger, from anger to disappointment, from disappointment to simply sitting there, what am I going to do? I was just on the roll. I just got the thing going, you know? I finally discovered the how powerful the stool can be to help support our mission. And our mission, as you know it, we are trying to really take care of the local um, laws here in regards of stray cats. We moved to this tiny village from a big city. What's happening here in the rural areas of Alberta is just, honestly, for me, an avid cat lover was very hurtful to see. And uh, we volunteer, we do a lot of charity work in interns, you know, volunteering to feed those cats, to spay, neuter. We have three cats, as you know, and living with us in the house. If you are one of those small YouTube channels that actually contemplating on deleting your channel altogether after finding that message, I would like you to watch this video. I would like you to hear me out and to see what could be maybe a different perspective on the events. Look, I'm talking after 10 years of being a partner of YouTube. And after 10 years, I have 30 days to do what I'm about to tell you what I'm going to do. So keep watching. There is a lot, a lot I put in today. I took the whole day of thinking to really understand what is my take on all of this. Frustration, anger, what? And then I found something and I want to share it with you. My thought, my final thought on the whole event is this is one probably one of a lifetime opportunity to quickly in a rushed call it rushed manner to test rather the world out there wants to watch what you want to show it wants to hear what you've got to tell them wants to really 
be a part of your creative process. I have 30 days. Realistically speaking, can I get the minimum subscribers to meet the criteria? Can I get the views? Probably not. So instead of sulking, instead of being angry at YouTube, instead of, um, you know, accusing uh, larger channels of pushing away the little guy, all those reasons, rather than doing that, I spent the day today trying to find positive, and this quite unfortunate, familialist matter. And I did find it, and I'm sharing it with you. I'm going to look at the next 30 days as an incredible challenge. And what kind of challenge is it? It's a challenge to my abilities, to my perspective, to my whatever there is, to find out rather the world needs Nine's Couturio channel. Rather the world, at least thousand people out there, rather they want to know what the next thing Nine is going to do, or what did Sky do today, or what did Junior do today, right? I would love to make money off the videos. I would love to be able to generate enough funds of the videos that we produce, the videos that we make, I make, our cats make to actually fight for it, fight for, fight for the income. But on the other side, I also want to bring the message across. I want to reach people who are really interested You cannot artificially create subscribers. Well, of course, probably you can by sub me, I sub you, this and that, going around and just liking every channel. There's probably a lot of that going on now. You know, people are small channels, especially, you know, when you're this close and, uh, you know, they're probably frantically looking for ways how to reach that um, mark, right? to stay monetized after the 20th of February, to keep generating income of that. Maybe there's a lot of that and something else is going on, but at the end of the day, if the world doesn't want to see what you have, none of that will work. And if you do not want to understand what the world wants from you, then as a creator, you are missing this very important part. Showing, knowing, understanding. Showing your content in a manner that the world wants to see. Knowing what the world wants to see. And understanding why the world doesn't want to see what you have. What are you doing wrong that the world is not lining up there to click the play button? simple as that. We shoot our videos with a phone camera. <laughs> right now the light that you see, like kind of, I'm not a really movie director, right? So the light that you see, you know, it's a couple of lamps that I took the lampshades off, you know, just to create some light here so that you can actually see me. Not that I'm really worth me looking at not like my cats. I use uh, very cheapest versions of voice uh, processing software. Uh, my PC is definitely gonna die very soon. So the tools are not there. Of course I was hoping to when I when I finally realized that you know some of the stuff that I do is actually interesting to some. You know I'm Oh my God, what would I do if I had better tools? What would I do if this and that and that? But at the end of the day, if it works with the phone camera, it probably will work with the better equipment. But if you still cannot get 
what you hope in a certain amount of time with what you have. Just face it straight to the fact, evaluate it. Are you doing everything you can? And are you really capable of giving today's world, today's world, what it wants? So in the video, you will see some numbers I put together. I use my own channel to show you actually what happened over the years, what happened in the last 90 days, what's, what's inside of it. I also put together a small kind of um, presentation to maybe help some to encourage some small YouTube channels to continue going even past the 20th of February mark, right? Um, because I'm pretty sure that many of you, you think it's really is devastating, but you probably are in much better position than our tiny channel is after 10 years on YouTube, right? So I put a lot of stuff there using what I have, what I learned. I uh, will reflect on the mistakes I made that actually helped me to end up in this predicament. A lot of stuff there in the video. And of course, there will be cats in the video because we're a cat channel after all. They are the main reason why I'm talking to you right now, absolutely overcoming my absolutely overwhelming fear of camera. So the challenge is, in the next 30 days, I will still be creating videos. And I want to see if the next 30 days will give me a good enough hope and motivation to continue doing so. If the next 30 days are going to tell me, you know what, keep doing what you're doing now, you will be okay. I'm even willing to swallow this very hard to swallow a pill as to being kicked away just like that after 10 years. But if the next 30 days are going to show that no, no difference will be made, this is all in vain, and no one really cares, then I will delete the channel on the 20th of February. Somewhere are very deep inside of me. There's this tiny, tiny hope that when I wake up on the 21st of February, my channel is still going to be there. So you see, it's not about the money. It's about really being able to find out, can you give the world what it wants, what it needs, and what it actually is missing. Cats, beauty channel, how to build a uh, couch, what are you good at? Don't just walk away. Try it. Nothing works better than the survival mode. With that said, we now will proceed to the main part of the video. I really, really would like to say please subscribe, but in tune with the challenge, I'll just let any of you to decide whether you really need to see more of this or not. I'm not going to ask for anything, otherwise this will not be a true challenge. Just let the world decide, but one thing I will definitely going to tell you. Years on YouTube, I would still love to tell people thank you for watching our videos. So I joined the YouTube back in 2008, in July. Why? Well, because everybody was 
talking about this tool. Everybody was saying, hey, if you have a cat, you can make money on this, of this and that and that. I really didn't go for the money, but it was really cool to be able to upload the video and share it. So, as you may see, the first record that I can actually demonstrate of my late cat, Lucy, um, bless her heart, what a wonderful cat she was, is actually dates back to 2011. And this is one of the mistakes that I made. I thought once I get tired of the content, I should delete it. Another thing is, you see, the video wasn't monetized, but I already had the status it's a decision that I made that the video should be turned into private, the sh video should be demonetized, the video should this and that and that before the actual audience would let me know. You see, there is one dislike on that video. Whatever. I do have the accent, right? The video was about, uh, you know, presenting the smart technique of Ford that understands the accent you see and then suddenly the video took off but look what I did there do you see I took it off the public access well because I thought this vehicle two months later the video was made in 2011 the vehicle was brand new 2012 you know it's just not interesting to anybody now, we're going now all the way to 2015, because pretty much between 2011 and 2015, I didn't do anything for many reasons. I'm not going to bore you with that. This video right there is actually a potential to become viral because there is not that many videos, if any, where there is a luxury of playing a trick on your friend because you have the second break. And what did I do wrong? Poor description. For the longest time. Yeah, I updated it two months ago when I really started working on the channel. And uh, in fact, I paid for this um, extra version of the um, TubeBuddy and uh, used that for a while. But for the longest time, it was, this video was just sitting without no description, nothing. Just few tags and me thinking, oh my God, the world's going to love it. This is so cool. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is a funny video. Maybe it was shot um, under funny circumstances. But how is the world going to discover it? And so here we're looking at two other um, directions I was trying to go into. And the videos are in uh, January of uh, 2017. And the reason why all of a sudden I had this outburst of trying to find some sort of niche or something uh, for myself again was because I was really getting bored in this little village you know we live in a tiny house the snow the winter was so snowy it was cold I was becoming shack wacky and I figured well you know what why don't I turn to this tool that I had to my disposal for the longest time but I never really utilized it right so I went into my best two areas first is I'm a great cook no, I'm seriously, I'm a modest person, but I am a great cook. And I do know some very small but very useful secrets that I wanted to share. Another thing was that I am a professional as far as certain things with the, um, you know, driver licensing goes. I know the standards. So I made those two videos and the problem is, but they're very unprofessional. I'm looking at them now, oh my god, who is going to watch it? Who is going to make the porridge according to that recipe? Between the grammar mistakes that I missed to the absolute mess of text and videos and everything. And there was no core, there was no stem. Those videos, that video about borscht was really pathetic. No wonder it didn't really succeed. And the video about air brake. Well, you see, I was targeting way too small of the audience to rely on it. Both of the videos, they have really good timing. 14 minutes, 7 minutes. But who is going to watch it if the video is really not the content that nowadays people are expecting? 
So you see, work on your content, work on your presentation, take that extra time. Don't make these mistakes. You probably already figured it out what's wrong with that video. And that video is actually my engagement video. And we were lucky to be able to be at that air show and to have found the closest spot to the elite um, snowbirds team, right? Canadian, Canadian snowbirds. And I have amazing close-up footage in that video that probably is more important to the uh, air, airplanes enthusiasts. Yet, however, I shot that video at the end. I did let everybody know that I was asked to be John's wife and uh, just as the planes were drawing that heart. And um, we received our fair share of congrats and everything on the Facebook because that's where I shared the link. And within a couple of hours, I figured, well, okay, 195 views. That's pretty much all of the friends that I have on Facebook. Well, the ones that are active anyways, right? Minus the 30 subscribers that I carried on from the days uh, when I was reviewing the Fords and I actually had people subscribing to my channel. So, what did I do? Okay, I'm going to make a decision for my audience because my interest in the content is over. Who cares about people wanting to see the actual close, rare footage of the snowbirds? I don't want to be on top of the world here with my engagement and everybody's uh, face, so let's go. Let's put it unlisted, private. Let's not let anybody see it. Don't make those mistakes. Don't decide for your audience once and again i will repeat it again don't decide for your audience what they want to see and then we're going into what i call the modern history of my channel in september 2017 this little stray kitten mine showed up at my door and you know the reason why i grabbed the camera and I was documenting him at my door right from the very start, is because before, you didn't see those videos in my, in my this presentation here, but before I did use the YouTube as a platform to store the videos of the cats that I successfully rehomed, successfully uh, found new homes for um, through the YouTube, by making videos and then being able to share the link into multiple Facebook groups or Twitter, begging people to please help me adopt the cat. Yet another cat came my way, so I cannot keep them, so please take this cat. In the case of the little guy, it was no different, because as you know, I already had two big rescues. Our house is tiny. As much as I would just love a kitten, I seriously, I didn't see how I can keep this precious guy. And he found us in the middle of nowhere, as you know the story. I'm not going to go over it again, but it was just miracle circumstances. And I'm not the person who is going to walk away from a kitten, hungry, starving kitten. So I was just, you know, I was, I was more making that video for my fiancé to share with him who just... Look who just showed up at our door. But then when it hit me that <laughs> I got to find a good home for this kid, kid, kitten, kid. They're all my kids. And I was sure we can't keep him. So I immediately started making those videos to find him a new home. But guess what? The kitten stayed. And look what that video stands where it stands now. And at first... Honestly, I didn't have good description. I didn't have good keywords. I didn't, I didn't, nothing. The video was lacking a thumbnail, everything. But you know what my big mistake with that video was? I should have really stopped treating it 
as the video that I am probably only making to find a new home for this little kitten. I should have started treating it more seriously. Because already then, that video, that, that kitten woke me up in terms of, well, how long are you going to go helping all those cats, adopting them, saving them, without really having some sort of source to support this? And here is a video that I thought would really go viral, because it's a rare video. Our nine really went just berserk after coming off the sedation on his big M day. This is a really rare video. The kitten is just plunging his fountain. I haven't seen anything like that. And you know the mistake I made there? I thought I defined that probably will go viral. And I took a break. I took an extended break of a week or so without creating fresh content. You know what happened? It came and it, it bit me. You know where it bit me? Yeah, right there. So, fight for your audience. Keep them on your channel. Don't just define what's going to go viral. What's Making a video go viral is a lot of work. It just doesn't happen. At last here, I am sure really, really, you treasure it and you really want to stay in touch with. And then the last graph there is take a look at the source. Where are the views coming from? If you ever see that suggested video that's in purple, oh my God, you're in business, you're in luck, you made it, the YouTube suggests your videos and that's where the majority of views comes from. But treasure it. Do not neglect the tools available to you to make it out there. You may see, unfortunately, in my situation, it's all way too late. But this is why I'm sharing those mistakes with you, because I don't want anybody else to make those mistakes. And if in 30 days I'm going to have to delete the channel, at least you know I knew where the mistakes came from. So that's probably enough for today or forever of me ranting. I still have to make a couple of cat videos. More than that, right? But anyways, I hope it helped and I hope you understand that the whole video was intended to really find the positive and get those mistakes out to on the open. And to summarize it, in summary, the three most biggest mistakes are making decisions for the audience, deciding what the content they want to see, not probably, not pro properly advertising your video to the world, and three, being too lazy, not using what's given to you. Thank you. Okay. Don't even know how he's laying there like that. Okay, I see some eyes. I see some eyes. I think it's going down to the river. I don't think it's coming up here. <laughs> Are you serious? He's going to sleep like that?